What's going on, boxing fans all over the world? It's your boy, Pool Counter Boxing, coming at you with another boxing video for the boxing heads and the boxing mind. Looks like the Caleb Plant versus Canelo Alvarez fight has stalled. The negotiations are not good. It looked like the fight will not be happening because Caleb Plant wants $10 million and Canelo Alvarez team don't want to pay it. So, I don't know if it's up to Eddie Hearn or how the, how, how the payment allocation is supposed to go, but Caleb Plant wants his $10 million and if he don't get it, there is no fight. So, if the fight don't happen, this leaves all kind of opportunities open for Canelo. He said that he, would, he wouldn't mind fighting Jamal Charlo, and he said he wouldn't mind fighting David Benitez. So, this is going to be very interesting, because nobody really wanted to see Canelo destroy Caleb Plant. Nobody wanted to see that fight, because we don't think that Caleb Plant is on that level. He is a boxer, and he doesn't have the necessary power to keep Canelo Alvarez at bay from walking him down. So, what we want to see is Canelo Alvarez face somebody who the boxing hardcore think is good, which is Jamal Charlo. Even though his performance against um, Jose Montel wasn't that great, uh, a lot of ring inactivity and not facing the best opposition for Jamal has gotten him where he is today, not looking the best. But we all know Jamal Charlo is way better than what he showed against Jose Montel, but a lot of boxing fans don't believe it. So Jamal has a lot of doubters out there. So now, we now, um, Canelo Alvarez has a choice to make. He could either fight Jamal Charlo, or he can fight David Benavidez. And I would say that David Benavidez has a better claim, because he's at 168. That's his division. So, and he has David, and because Canelo Alvarez has David Benavidez's belt. He should have been the first in line anyway. So, since Canelo Alvarez says that he don't mind facing David Benavidez, I think that should be hot off the presses. I think that is the fight. And, you know, but I don't care if he want to fight Jamal Charlo next. That would be a good fight. Either way, it'll be the fight of the elites. If Canelo Alvarez beat them or if he loses, it don't matter. We're hardcore boxing fans. We want to see the best fight the best. Let all the fanboys and fangirls make it about everything else. We just want to see the best fight the best. And, you know, you can't get caught up into all this emotional... Uh, extra emotions that these boxing fanboys bring into the to boxing because they're not real boxing fans they're just fans of one fighter real boxing fans want to see the best fight the best not, not the not the ones who you call the best not the ones who you use all this propaganda about the best you can only find out the best when you beat the best and so this is good in my opinion I think that Canelo Alvarez should have been fight, been fought these guys. It's been seven years. It's time. You know, he need to knock off Demetrius Andrade if he can. So that is the criticism of Canelo Alvarez. Not all this other stuff about, you know, he, you know, he's everybody hating on him because he's the best. No, you got to prove you're the best by fighting the best in their prime. Can I say that again? In the prime. Not somebody who's 35, not somebody who's 36, 
at the end of their career, not some legend on the tail end of their career, you know, and you come in fresh, you know what I'm saying, and beat them down. No, we're, we're talking about prime for prime. This is what you should be fighting all the time. The only time that you should fight a legend at the end of this end of his career is once or twice, baby. You don't you don't fight a, a whole bunch of uh, you know people who over the hill who's on their way out out the fight game. You don't get a whole lot of credit for that. You know what I'm saying? And you know it. So if you're a real boxer fan, you already know where I'm coming from. So. It's time for Canelo Alvarez to fight the, the prime for prime fighters, you know. Uh, I don't know why he's trying to pull Errol Spence up to 164. You know, that's just, uh man, it's like, I don't know what's going on in boxing today, but I try to make the best of it, y'all. This is pool kind of boxing, and I'm going to just give it to you like it is, you know. These guys, they got to face each other if they want a good legacy. But right now, they're just chasing the money. And they're fighting the fights they think they can win. And they're going around the fights they think they can. So, Canelo Alvarez, you got to make a decision. So, you know, the whole boxing world is watching you. Win or lose or draw. We just want to see you fight the best, man. That's all it is. Caleb Plant. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they'll meet. Maybe they'll go back and negotiate or uh, give him the $10 million that he won't. But I doubt it. So that's my thoughts about it. Like, hit the like button, share my videos, and um, subscribe. This has been Cool Kind of Boxing. And like I say, law don't go right here.